IO TV. We are here in Denver at the Outdoor Retailer Snow Show. I'm with Steve Johnson, uh, owner and founder of Soul SunGuard. Uh, Steve, uh, consumers want three main things out of their skin products, right? Um, in terms of repellents and sunscreens, they want them to be effective, they want them to be safe and good for the environment. Um, how does your brand align with these values? Well, from the from the very beginning of when we found the brand in 2003, those are absolutely the key of what we what we focus on. Effectiveness, we build um, one of the most effective sunscreens in the world. We build products that are um, insoluble in water, so they stay on until you take them off with soap. Um, the filtration levels exceed every international standard. The water resistance levels exceed every international standard. So when you think of the U.S. standards, which are actually somewhat low in the world scheme of sunscreens, um, the ability to put a sunscreen on once during the day is pretty rare, which is something you can do with us. Safety, uh, we build products that are um, completely dermal safe. So most sunscreen products, and you've heard the um, the statement that anything you put on your skin is going to end up in your bloodstream, right? It's the, it's the biggest organ. Well, that's true on most cosmetic products. We build pharmaceutical grade sunscreens that are molecularly too large to pass through the dermis into the bloodstream. So we have one of the safest sunscreens in the world. When it comes to interacting with the body, absolutely, keeping the um, any kind of uh, product you put on your skin out of, out of your bloodstream is the most important. So we, from the very beginning, cured that. The environment is something that, uh, from the very start, we, we thought of, what, where are you playing? And we say that uh, uh, to every one of our consumers, you know, we're gonna build a product for the area that you're gonna play in, in high altitude, in the water, and you know, in the, in the legislation in Hawaii and in uh, the South Pacific, and now something in the Keys that are banning two ingredients, oxybenzone and OMC, uh, two ingredients that, are, that have had recent studies that have uh, shown uh, a likelihood of damaging reef environments. You know, we, we haven't used those ingredients. We do use some OMC that is encapsulated, which means it's protected from a, uh, any kind of environmental um, um, interaction. But the fact is that our, our sunscreens are, are non-water soluble, and we look at it as sunscreen potentially, whether it's reef-safe sunscreen or it's you know any kind of uh, drugstore sunscreen, that is all pollution if it gets into the water. And our philosophy is eliminate the pollution to begin with. Keep it on your skin. Take it off with soap in the shower at the end of the day. And so that's how we've built. So we exceed the international standards for uh, water resistance, uh, for filtration, but also for environmental safety. And we will um, be evolving those formulations even further to protect the environment. So we have probably the most marine safe sunscreen in the world. Um, can you walk us through some of the products um, in front of us right here? Absolutely. So we build for different um, sport environments, and we look at the environment that an athlete is playing in. Um, if you are playing in a, um, if you're if you're doing a highly aerobic sport where you're sweating heavily, sweat is one of the most degrading things to the adhesion of a sunscreen. Uh, we build a. Pro the other thing is sweat is your your body's form of breathing and and um, taking heat away. So you don't want to shut down the ability for your body to sweat, especially in an aerobic environment. So if you're running or cycling or tennis or anything where it's, you're really sweating a lot, you want a sunscreen that is a insoluble in water that's going to stay on regardless of how alkaline your sweat is or how, how much you're sweating. Uh, and ab avoid the abrasion of wiping sweat off of your, your brow or your cheeks. And we build this product, Multisport, which is a breathable, it means your sweat can go pass right through the membrane uh, on your skin, uh, maintain tremendous protection for hours and hours without reapplication. The other thing about it is um, it, it has completely, and all of our products are absolutely no eye sting. And if you take a sample of any of our products, this is something that took us three years in the laboratory to achieve. You can literally take this sunscreen and put it directly in your eyes with no eye sting whatsoever. And the proof, the proof is in the pudding. I mean, you you ask that of any sunscreen manufacturer that claims no eye sting, ask them to put it in their eyes. And you know, as the founder, and uh, a lot a lot of that science came from our desks. That uh, um, was the absolute motivation of like athletes hate eye sting. It's the number one problem with sunscreen, other than it coming off. But um, we we look at it as like we've got to cure that. And it took about three years to to actually cure the the, the eye sting problem 
in sunscreen. And I think we really are the only company that has truly achieved it. And I prove it all day long, putting sunscreen in my eyes. So that's multi-sport, no eye sting. And you get into um, uh, products like our children's product, which is a very high um, protection level product called Kinder Sport. Kinder Sport is a, um, is a barrier cream, which means it protects the uh, skin from external contaminants that might be in the water, yeast and algaes. Um, it's a wind barrier, so if you're in high, dry environments like skiing at a resort, you're not going to get wind, or wind burn and chap. A very, very high protection level. It's a little bit easier to put on than, our, than some of our other high altitude products. Um, our products... that are designed for mountain environments. We have two, one is called Alpine, which is an SPF 30 product, and Altitude, which is an SPF 40. We always undervalue our SPFs, so they test actually higher than the label says. And we do that because consumers who have never had a call in 15 years of business where a call, a consumer said, I used your product and I got burned. A lot of it is because we actually overpower the sunscreen, so what the labels say. The Alpine is a breathable formulation. The the altitude is a thicker, more um, uh, occlusive barrier formulation. So a little bit easier to put on, uh, thinner 5% zinc, 10% zinc with some organic actives and um, a significant wind barrier. V extremely uh, effective at high altitude, really one of the only true high altitude products on the marketplace. Um, from there we build products for water sports and let's see, where do I have one? There we go. Um, water sports, we build blue water, and this is a thicker product. It's designed to really stay on with full water immersion. So if you are surfing or diving or anything in and around water, uh, this is the product to use. The product is um, a significant water barrier, contaminant barrier, much like the Kinder Sport. It protects it from yeast and algaes from entering your skin. If you ever swam in a lake that has green algae in it, you get swimmer's itch. You will not get it with this. We've had professional surfers that have used this product and surfed in areas where there's a red tide and wherever they forgot to put the product under their arms, under their shorts, they had contamination, they had you know uh, algae attack their skin and wherever this, the product was completely blocked it. So it's a very, very unique chemistry. Um, it is a uh, completely, again, water insoluble product so it'll never enter the marine environment. It won't affect reefs, it doesn't affect um, fresh water and it's also been tested on uh, major fly fishing and fishing tackle equipment to make sure that none of the ingredients break down or affect any equipment. Un completely unscented, doesn't scent any kind of fly line or lure. Um, really the best product on the market for, for water sports. So you can swim in the Florida water without further damaging the environment? Absolutely. You, you, you know, when you think of, of um, the, w what's considered reef safe sunscreen right now, usually that means it's a cosmetic product, cosmetic style emulsion that has eliminated a couple of ingredients that are banned. One of, is, uh, one of them is um, he ethyl hexyl methoxacinamate. The other one, is also known as uh, um, octanoxate. The other one is benzophone 3 or oxybenzone. Just because you take those two ingredients out doesn't mean that you have a reef safe unless you've done the testing. So our philosophy is really, let's start with the pollution to begin with. Let's eliminate the polluting uh, of the environment with things that we put on our skin. Whether it's shampoo, conditioner, lotions, it's all gonna end up in the environment, in the marine environment. But if you use a highly adhesive product that is water insoluble, it's gonna stay on your skin. Take it off in the shower with soap if you're done at the day, but don't put it in the marine environment. And that's really the beginning of true reef safe. Eliminating the, uh, the the banned substances, that's easy. So we've already done that. And how can we learn more about your products? You go to uh, uh, soulsunguard.com.